change today. The man who calls himself ex Mungiki leader, Mainan Jenga, joins us for the very first time on the bench. Chairman, Karib Sana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chairman of what? Yeah, chairman of uh, everything. Everything? Everything. So tell me, um, when they call you ex Mungiki leader, yes. What does that mean? It is, uh, it, it is not me who calls myself Mungiki leader. It's the people. You know, some 40 years ago, I used to lead that organization called Mungiki. But uh, after 20 years, I retired. You retired? I, I retired. Is Mungiki still there? Mungiki is not there anymore. When you retire, you retire with everything. I've never heard of anybody coming up saying he's, a, he's the one who is a, in, responsible. But uh, those days I used to be, to be the chairman. You were the chairman? I was the chairman. You were the leader of Mungiki? I was the leader. So now when they call you chairman, uh, you know, what, what do they mean? And now we have another organization called the Amani Sasa Foundation. Mm -hmm. the, the organization is about peace. Uh, I am the chairman and the CEO of the Amani Sasa Foundation. The Amani Sasa Foundation is about peace and reconciliation. So we are dealing with peace and trying to reconcile, reconcile those people that are, that are not in agreement. So you come from a very violent past and now you're pre preaching peace. Because let's face it, Mungiki was very violent. I don't, I don't think it was so violent. Huh? It was not. My friend. Uh, Jeff, you should understand what was happening. It is the police. It is like in the case of Mandamano. Uh, if the police were not coming to disrupt the Mandamano, they are, they, they, we wouldn't have uh, had those chaos. But uh, even those days, it is the police who are causing chaos every time and then blame it to the common Mwananchi. But a lot of people in Mount Kenya would disagree with you, Chairman. Yes. Because they went through a lot. There were a lot of people murdered, a lot of people were maimed, a lot of people were injured mm. in the name of Mungiki. Uh, Jeff, I want to tell you this. When you hear th things happening in Mount Kenya, it was not the youth who were doing those things. It was the government of that day. Like uh, the disaffected appearance of the people, uh, harassment of the people, these are very harmless people who cannot even <laughs> kill us a, a fry. Unless they are provoked, they are very peaceful. The use of, of Kenya need to be supported in various ways instead of challenging them every time. Chairman, how do you explain the extortion that used to happen, especially in Mount Kenya region, whether it was a Matatu terminal or people in their homes or people milking a cow and Mungiku would come up to them and demand payments. for ext They were extorting from people. How do you explain that? Uh, Jeff, those are propagandas. Aye, you don't chair. expect somebody to come to your to your man. Uh, Jeff, let me tell you one thing. Uh, when you hear propaganda of people, you don't have to believe. Uh, yeah, I've heard people saying that people used to milk people's cows. But uh, it is the chiefs and even the, the, the villagers who, who, who would be telling people, not senior people, talking about all those, those things. And then how many reports have been reported to the police station about the milking of cows of people? Uh, when you come to the, to the mining of the matatu industry, no, we had authority from the, the then president, Daniel Torotisharap Moy, that we should uh, act, actually organize the matatu industry. Provide them with the driver, the, the conductors, so that at least it can, they, there can be order in that matatu. So we were not, we, we were not uh, actually demanding money from them. It, there was an agreement that we should take a, a certain sum of money, then that is for our own upkeep. And then the other one is for the owner. Who, who's we? Mongiki? Yes, Mongiki by that time. By the way, why, oh, oh, yeah, why was Mongiki put together? What was do the you, purpose? Do you know one thing, Jeff? Do you know the meaning of Mongiki? Where would you call Jina Mongiki in a Samaji? Mongiki. Hey, Mongiki. Mongiki in Kikuyu means many people. Mongiki Wadu, Mwiki Muno. For those people who are hearing Mount Kenya, when you talk about Mungiki, you see many people. Now, these many people are, are all over. You cannot say you, you cannot be, live with them. 
Uh, you know, you know, during the, those those days, when I I started this organization, we started uh, like uh, we were very few, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100. and that we started uh, doing jobs together. Kukulima pamoja tunalima pamoja hivi. Na baadaye wazee wakakuja wakasema ya kwamba hakuna haja watu kushinda waki kusanyana vijana vijana. Eh? That name started there. Mungiki. Yeah. We don't want many people. We want few people to be working on this field. So that name was given that time. And what was your intention then? My intention was to bring people together, especially the youth of Mount Kenya region. Uh, Mount Kenya youth has been used for the wrong purpose for quite a long time. We wanted people to stand on their own, to be self-sustained with their own money so that they can have something in their pockets. And then, so that they cannot depend on anybody. And uh, by that time, you know, our parents were very poor. We, we were looking for a way whereby we can get something to assist us, ourselves paying school fees. Like my father is a peace and farmer. He was born, born in 1930. Those days he was like in his 60s. And it is long time ago. And now you hear people telling you, Jeff, that uh, the, we, we still have uh, men on the, on, the, on, the, on the matatu industries. You know, these men that we are talking about, men that we are talking about, those days, can you tell me from eight years, it is in the 80s, Somebody was born in 1980, mm. 80, maybe, maybe 80. Now he's how old? 40 something. No, 40 something, yes. Yeah. 40 something. Now, do you still say that these are the very young people who are on the, on the matatu industry? This is another generation that has been born. Those people that were in matatu industry those days, they are people with established businesses everywhere in the so, Republic of Kenya. So you're saying there was no extortion? No, there was no extension. There was no extortion. Okay, so uh, help me here. Um, the old thing that used to happen hmm. to Mungiki hmm. and the blood drinking. Which old thing? Muma. Muma oliku. <laughs> oliku, Jeff. Chama. <laughs> Chama, you can't deny this. No, 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 no. We have seen pictures. No, uh, I think what, 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 what actually happened one time. You know, wakati watu wa walianza kupika na pika na huku, upande wa molo naibasha. Uh, unajua vijana wa, vijana wa mungiki walikuwa vijana wa kudefend Mount Kenya region. So, we had to come together. Slaughtering a goat does not mean that you take muma. Yeah? You know, we were misquoted. Mm. And uh, <laughs> what we were doing is not giving people oath. We were eating boozy together, sharing meat together, because in our own tradition, Mount Kenya region, we, 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 we and Mbuzi are the same. We eat Mbuzi every time. Eh? When we go to the Ngira, we go and consult Waze. We have to go with Mbuzi. So when you, we take Mbuzi, this is not a problem. But my question is this, why is it that when every time we eat Mbuzi in Mount Kenya region, there is a problem? When we practice culture in our Mount Kenya region, there is a problem. Why not in, in Samburu? Last time, I saw a very big ceremony of Maasai, and they are celebrating their culture. Mm. And they are given uh, licenses, they are given every, every security, and they are doing their work. The other time, there was another ceremony in Turkana, whereby even the, the, the President of the Republic of Kenya was there. Even our own Baba was there. And the ceremony went on very nicely. Those ceremonies were the ones, were like those which were in Mount Kenya. There is no difference. Practic practicing your own culture, praying to your own God. We used to pray facing Mount Kenya. But did you believe in God then? Or yes, did, even, you... even God of Mount Kenya is a God. But That's... not the God that we know. No, no. Who told you? Who told you? You know the Israelites, the Israelites are their own God. Uh, we are not Jews. We are Gekoyo. <laughs> we are Gekoyo and Africans. Mm -hmm. Here we find Maasai, Trukana, Samburu, and ev everywhere. We can never be Jews. And we will not be. Moses, when Moses was uh, sent to the Israelites, he was sent to, re to liberate the Israelites from their captivity. And he was born 
<laughs> when there was a lot of problem. Now, there is no, no any place I, I, I had a, a person calling and talking about Kikuyu community. They just talk about the Israelites. Now, this is our history, Jeff. When we follow our forefathers, long time they used to pray facing Mount Kenya. When you, <laughs> you, you, you follow your ancestral roots, there's nothing wrong in that. God times God is God. There's no superior God <laughs> or somebody with a lesser God. All of us are to pray. The, the only thing that matters is the, the name in different places, but it is the same God. Okay, some of you, the practices that Mungiki initiated in the beginning were very controversial. Which one? Circumcising women, forced FGM. Who said? I. No, 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 no. <laughs> Jeff. Hakuna kitu kama yo. Huh? Hakuna. Ni wongo. Ah, yo ni wongo. Yo ni wongo, ni propaganda. Na wale wanasema ilikuwa hivyo? Nani, nani, nani nasema? Wule mtu alileta hiyo propaganda ni moi. Na moi alileta hiyo propaganda kwa sababu aliangalia kawana vijana, there are too many. And there was a lot of resistance in Mount Kenya. So lazima angetafuta propaganda yote ya kupinga hile kasuba. So hakuna manena ya kutairisha wanawake. In fact, wanawake ni wazuri sana. Yeah, they're so good. You cannot remove any part from, from a woman. Then, then you, you'll be left with what? So is, do you have any apologies to make for the, for the crimes Mungiki committed? Let me tell you, Joy. When people are at war, there are no apologies for people to make. When you're fighting each other, there are no apologies. And then uh, as soon as the war is finished, people make peace and uh, they pray for each other. If there are, there are, there are, there are, there are destruction that has been made, it's upon people to, to, to come and rebuild it again. Yeah. You have seen even, even, even Israel fighting Gaza. Mm. Eh? The war started in Gaza. They started bombing Israel. Then uh, Israel retreated. That is war. When they, in, at the times of war, there is no order. Hmm? You, you, you remember in the time of uh, Molo, people were chased from their land from morning to evening. Yeah. You are chased from a house, uh, your women are taken away, everything that is taken and you are chased away. Then you cannot stay and watch people as they do their work. Yeah, you have to do something for your defense. So that war is, is war? <laughs> war is war. No apologies? No apologies. Even 2007 post-election violence? Uh, that is after election, that is why we were doing my andamano. You have seen Mandamano the other day. You were doing Mandamano with Baba uh, when we did the election 2020, 2022. And uh, we, we thought we are going to win this election and Baba to become the president of the Republic of Kenya. Now, after that, you know, there was a lot of computer errors. And then it created another space for another person to be president. So we, are, we, we saw another person who, who became president. Our will was Baba. Now that this person is there, we had to do mandamano. We said that it has been sorry. Why not just accept you know, that you had lost? No, no, no. You, you had ask, assumed you that you were going to you win. You don't accept like that. You don't always agree. Kwa nini? Aha, unakata. Simulishindua. Tulishindua na mnagani. Tulijipanga vizuri. Kivipi? Ah, tulijipanga vizuri. Tulifikiri mutashinda. Tulifikiri tutashinda, lakini siku fikiri saba wafungue. Wafungue saba uone, uone tulishinda. Saba ifunguliwe, uone. Tulikuwa mbele. Hata mimi nilishinda huko la ikipia. Ah, we huku shinda. Mimi nilishinda. Huku shinda. Wacha ni kwa. You have lost an MP, you have yes. lost a senator. Ha. And you call yourself chairman of... Let me tell you. Eh, shida yangu ni wakubwa. Wakubwa wagani? Wakubwa, wakubwa. Si wendi ya mkubwa. Wa... You're the chairman. Why have those machineries? Niko na bunduki. Niko na, na askari. So hata nikiwa chema ni wawatu, watu wakona siraha. Unaeza ingia pali GSU wana ingia. Wakiwa wamevaa bomu na <laughs> anti-riot gear. Wewe Jeff. So you're saying ni system iliku... Iyo ni system. Awongo. Ni system. Ni Deep system. state. Yes. Awataki ni... mainanjenga ingia? Sasa si wanajua uyu, uyu ni mwenyewe. 
Huyu mwenyewe. Huyu ni mwenyewe. I'm going to take a break, come back, talk some more chairman. Uh, let me ask you this. I want to know after the break. Yes. What is your relationship with Ray Lodge? Are you still as Azimio? Yes. Okay. Your relationship with Baba? Yes. Your relationship with Deputy President <laughs> Rigathi Gashagua? Yes. Because they talk about a kingpin in the mountain. Yes. Who is the kingpin? Ah, uh, watu wataamua. Watu wataamua. Yes. Keep tweeting at wow, what what a show. <laughs> This man, where has he been? The mysterious Mainan Jenga has resurfaced. And he's calling it. Keep yeah. tweeting at Kananga Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya the hashtag JK Live. JK Live takes a break. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>